Hi, Jason the Golf Principles here. Just going to have a quick recap on the last sort of seven days in the world of golf, but a couple of big you know, stories out there. McDowell winning for the first time in a couple of years, Bradley getting a bit of a, a bit of stick for the belly, and then obviously I think probably under the radar, Camille Vajegas missing his tour card in the tour squad was a bit of a shock and uh, could be a loss for the tour for a little while. But anyway, going to talk about product again, that's what we do anyway. So new Matrix white tie shaft, you can see there. 6M3, 5M3, comes in a 7, comes in an 8, and I imagine they're going to do a 4 at some point. Matrix are going to change the way they do shafts next year. They're going to go for like a flight control system. So you're going to have the, the white tie X series, it's high launch, low spin, basically the new XCOM. You've got the Q series coming out, which replaces the HD series, which is going to be mid launch, mid spin, which is red. And then you've got the black tie, which stays, which is low launch, low spin. So if you can dictate your launch and spin characters by changing the shaft. So again, you just see how the companies now position themselves slightly differently. You've got the UST tour spec guys doing stuff on torque and that sort of stuff. You've got these guys looking at launch. Spins are low to mid, you know, in that sort of area, but again, it's all about the launch angle, creating that, you know, feel what you want. And then you've got other guys like Miyazaki working on that, if you like, that four-part shaft international code stuff. So very interesting how it is, and also out there right now this week, all did have been uh, merged with Mitsubishi Road Oil, it's been proposed and the shareholders have got to approve it. But that will be interesting because obviously Mitsubishi and all did are two of the big suppliers to the OEM, so they guess they're going to pull their resources and uh, effectively go after that business. But what I want to talk about today is obviously just look at these shafts, understand your launch, understand your spin. If you don't know your numbers by now, you don't know what trouser size you are, right? So just understand what you do, where you are, and go from there. Any questions, as usual, give me a shout.